Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline at Pixie Dust PhD. We are here in a standard view deluxe studio at the Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. Specifically, we are on the third floor of the Morea building. This is room 3046. This is the shape of the Morea building. It's pretty much a straight line. I believe all the rooms on this side, so ending in one through 14 or 39 through 48 are going to be standard views. This side of the building, I believe will be lake views. You've got your pretty standard hotel resort door here. This light switch controls your entryway lights. And then you have your adjoining door over here. It does have a full length mirror. Moving in from the door on the left, we have our closet. Here you will find your luggage rack, your ironing board, your iron. You do get a laundry hamper provided and then extra pillow and blanket and the safe. These shelves under the safe are really convenient. I'm using them for my shoes. And then yeah, plenty of hangers and storage for your things. Next to the closet, we have our kitchenette. So here is your oversized mini fridge, space for bottles, space for cans. No little freezer unit though. Under the sink is trash and recycling. Then we have our sink, washing supplies. I believe this is the can opener wrapped up here in this towel. Paper towels are mounted under this cabinet. You've got your coffee maker, toaster, coffee supplies, microwave. This cabinet has your disposable cutlery, coffee cups, normal cups, paper plates, bowls, paper towels. And then this one over in the microwave is just empty for your use. So there's no pull out drawer with supplies or anything. It's quite compact, but it is a studio. So that's pretty typical. Back at the entryway, if we look to the right instead of the left, the left again is your closet and your kitchenette. The right has these two doors, these are your bathrooms. The first is your full bathroom. So first of all, it's very cutely appointed, adorable artwork. Then you've got your sink, frankly, lots of storage and mirror. The water pressure here is really great. We are on the top floor, though it is only the third floor, but just for an example. It's not quite that powerful in the showers, but the sink gives you a good idea. These drawers are functional. This top one is a little thinner just because there is plumbing back there for the sink. And you've got a much deeper drawer down here. I will say this bathroom did not come with Kleenex. So note that the other bathroom has Kleenex. I'll show you that in a minute. Then on this side, you have space for your towels, toilet, very cute mermaid artwork. And here is your shower tub combo. Nice tile inlay, pretty typical setup. You do have a clothesline here. And then we do have the mounted H2O product, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So no individuals. This is one that we brought from home. And then the next door is your other bathroom. This is a walk-in shower and a sink. So there is no second toilet. You get two showers, two sinks, one toilet. So here is this sink again, a ton of storage, your hair dryers in here, trash can, extra towels. Once again, two drawers for your use. The middle one is considerably less deep than the bottom one. Nice big mirror, well lit. This one does have a makeup mirror that is lit on both sides. Normal magnification and I believe 5X magnification. And then you've got this walk-in shower. It has two different types of shower heads. So this one that you can hold in your hand as well as a waterfall shower head. It has a bench, a little carve out to put your things and the same wall mounted products. And here's your one thing of Kleenex. <laughs> That's really your whole entryway then. You've got your adjoining room door, bathroom number one, bathroom number two, closet, kitchenette, and then we move into the main living area. Here we have the below TV bed, which we'll show you in a minute. Your TV, this is where your ice bucket is. We're just using this as a storage shelf. Then you have your little desk and chairs, 
These chairs are actually pretty oversized and really comfortable. The table's a little small. We're using this as our charging setup. This room did come with the Hey Disney. We unplugged it because it started talking to us out of nowhere within the first like 30 minutes of us being in the room. Found that a little annoying. Here you will get one outlet and two USB outlets, which is nice. Down below, there are two outlets. Those are typically taken up both by the Hey Disney and the lamp. Again, we unplugged the Hey Disney, so this is one of our plugs now. So good working space, and there's a mirror above it. Turning around, we have this little coffee table. It does lift up for storage, which is nice. And it also will stay open, although I would be careful with that. And then here is a couch, as well as this is the pull-down bed, which we will look at in a moment. Here is the queen bed. Nightstand number one, you have these two light switches, which control this overhead light and this overhead light. And then this lamp you control independently. Both nightstands have a little drawer. There are two outlets for actual plugs here, and then one USB. Ours are not working so great, so this USB is not charging anything, but these actual outlets work. And then on the other side, uh, everything works, but these, this is like super loose and falls out at just the slightest bump. So just be aware of that if you're counting on that for charging, definitely double check the connections. And there's just some free space under the side table to use for storage. The bed also has storage underneath, which is super convenient. So we have three suitcases and a duffel down here. This side of the bed has your AC control, which is working very well, though I am very certain it's on a motion sensor detector. So in the middle of the night, if it gets a little warm, just get up and use the bathroom real fast, the AC will turn back on. This light switch does control your hall lights, which is nice and convenient. This one controls the Tiki God lamp over on the desk. So you don't have to get up as far. There's some nice artwork on this side. Same deal with the side table. Again, you control this lamp here, and this switch controls that light. Then both sides of the bed do have a secret little storage drawer here. So this is kind of your only drawer space to store things. Because you have this pull-down bed, you know, that's not a wardrobe like you might expect. Your drawers are gonna be under your bed. The bed's definitely been comfortable and it came with six pillows we're using four. Then there's two more on this couch, so plenty of pillows to go around. And here is the single bed pull down, so probably intended for a child. And here you get Milo and Stitch sleeping away the night on the beach. Super cute. All right, and here is the over couch bed. No super special artwork back there, but that's not a bad size at all. I do think you're probably supposed to move this little table out of the way, but since we aren't actually sleeping here, just showing you for video purposes. And back to couch formation. And here is the door out to the patio. So you have these sheer curtains as well as these blackout curtains. These don't overlap super well. At least in this room, they would definitely let the light in. So we do always pack closed pins to pin the curtains closed. You could also use a hanger that has the clips for pants. Just something to note. And let's step outside. So this is the patio. I am just drying some clothes here. We did a little bit of laundry earlier, so you get two chairs and a little table. It's a decent size, honestly. Decent length. And then this is our standard view, again, from room 3046 in the Morea building. The parking lot's over there, so it's pretty close. I think that might be Tokelau, but don't quote me on that. It's about a five minute walk to the TTC, which is super nice. And it's probably also another five minutes or so to the Grand Ceremonial House. So it's not right next to anything, but it's not terribly located to anything either. 
This room is considerably larger than a lot of the studios on property. That being said, the main living space is feels about the same. I think a lot of that space is going to having more than one bathroom. Because we only travel the two of us, I personally don't love exchanging drawers and organization for the single pull down sleeper. I get that works well for a lot of families, but for me, I'm kind of like, I miss having a wardrobe, I miss having drawers, places to put my things that aren't, you know, under the bed. Better the under the bed drawer than nothing, but it certainly is a little bit harder on the back to bend down there every day than like a proper wardrobe. DVC guest laundry is free and it is on the first floor of the Morea building, so very easy to get to from our room. If you don't bring your own detergent or dryer sheets and want to purchase those, it looked like they were $1 in the vending machine at the time that we were staying here in October 2023. Overall, the room is comfortable and of course the location is great. Generally being at the Poly is a good location, but even just this building, Morea, I think is pretty centrally located to the TTC and the Great Ceremonial House and the parking lot. It's not right next to anything, but they're all a very short walk. The Poly Beach and the Marina are also just around the corner. I personally do wish there was more storage, and there are a fair amount of outlets, but just because the ones in our nightstands in this particular room aren't working very well, we are a little bit starved for power. So I think those are really my only complaints. And for being a deluxe resort, the Poly is a, like a little bit big and spread out. It's a little bit easy to get lost here. There is some signage, it's not fantastic. So it may take you a while to get acclimated to your surroundings. Particularly at night, everything does kind of look the same. This is our first time staying in the Polynesian Villas. We're really happy to be here. We've got a five night stay. Again, this is just a standard view room. I think the lake views are probably pretty good, but as far as the monorail loop, you are pretty far from the castle. We did watch fireworks from the Poly Beach and it is a nice view, but you're considerably closer from Grand Flow and from Bay Lake Tower, so do keep that in mind. Personally, I'm happy saving some points for the standard view and not splurging for the lake view, but to each their own. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about our stay here at the Poly, leave those in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks to everyone who's liked the video, subscribed to the channel, and turned on notifications. All your interactions are super helpful and I appreciate it. May the rest of your day be magical, and we'll see you real soon at Pixie Dust PhD.